Thanks for tuning in. This is Second Round 9, the Dry Creek Hare Scramble in Montevallo, Alabama on October 23rd, 2021. There are eight of us in the C45 Plus class today. I got a good start and I'm second behind Raven after the first turn. Seca has had three races at Dry Creek since 2019. The first one was hot and extremely dusty. The second one in early 2020 was a mutter. So it's only fair that this one would turn out to have near perfect conditions and it really is nearly perfect. This area's had just enough rain to keep the dust down and the dirt tacky. With high temps in the 70s, it's a great day to race. I spotted an arrow into a hotline there. I wonder how long I could stay disciplined when watching those arrows in this race. This area drops down into a creek bed. There's a lot of loose rocks and some bigger rocks in here too. Coming up out of the creek bed and Raven gets tangled up on another rider. I should have taken the line around the left, but I thought I could squeeze through. I was waiting for Raven to move his leg because I didn't want to run over it. Meanwhile, we're getting passed by most of our class on the line over to the left. I stalled the bike and of course it doesn't want to start back. Okay, finally out of there, but I'm near the back of the pack now. I just need to keep from making any more dumb mistakes. So I'm starting to notice that people are looking lost up ahead, and that's because they missed this arrow. And so did I. Dang it. At this point, we have no idea where we lost the trail, but clearly it isn't this way. Somebody finally sees the arrow and we're back on track now.
Kyle Lewis. What are you doing out there, Al? You should be out here racing. End of the first lap, I'm in fifth place with a lap time of 24 minutes 30 seconds. I guess I'm lucky I'm not last with the way I'm riding, but I'm only 28 seconds behind the leader. Speaking of the leader, Jeff Curtis led the first lap with a time of 24 minutes 2 seconds. If you saw last week's video for second round 8, you may remember I'm in a close season points battle with Jeff. After the last race, I'm one point ahead of him in third place. If I can't beat Jeff today, he's going to bump me down to fourth, so I got to get a move on. Fryman, he's in my class, so that moves me up to fourth place. Thank you. Hey, Mike, see you. Thanks, sir. End of the second lap, I'm in fourth place, but Jeff has dropped to third and I'm only 22 seconds behind him. There was a cool jump in this section of the course and Laura Davis was there taking photos. Thank you, Laura. At the end of the third lap, I'm still in fourth and now I'm 24 seconds behind Jeff. I still don't know why I didn't take that line to the left. I guess my brain just wasn't working. I wasn't able to catch Jeff in the last lap. I finished in fourth place with a time of one hour, 32 minutes, 36 seconds. I dropped to fourth in the points, and now it all comes down to the last round at Monster Mountain. If I can beat Jeff, I'll move back up to third. If he beats me, I'll stay in fourth. But before Monster Mountain, I'll be racing in the Gobble Gator National Enduro at Perry Mountain Motorcycle Club in Stanton, Alabama. So stay tuned for that race as well as the Monster Mountain race later in November. Big thanks to the Crawford family and everybody who worked hard to make this event a success. It was a great course and conditions were perfect. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the race recap videos. That really helps me get my videos out to more people on YouTube and I appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, leave those below and thanks for watching.